In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of Customize View. Here, you can customize the visual appearance of your website, starting with your home page. In the top left corner, you can see the current page you're working on. Click on Presets to redesign your entire website in just a few simple clicks using our design templates. Layouts control the composition of your page. The home page has 25 options. Themes control the colors and fonts used on your website. You can choose a different preset, create your own, or edit the current theme. On the home page, the content section controls the images that are displayed on your site. Depending on your layout, this could be background, spotlight, or grid content. Under options, you can show or hide your page elements, upload a logo, or edit your welcome message. Clicking Draft Preview will open up a preview of your website in a new tab. Restore will allow you to discard all of your unpublished changes or to restore to a previously published version of your site. Clicking Publish will make the changes that you've made go live. You can customize the navigation of your website in the Edit Site menu section. If you're using a site header, you can change the settings here. You can change the layout. You can also add a logo as well. Site footer settings are located here. In site settings, you can do things like turn off your breadcrumbs, enable or disable the favorites feature, turn on your mobile site, or change the language of your website. Click here to be taken back to your dashboard. To open up a gallery in Customize View, click on the gallery under Organizer, and then hover over Preview and click Customize. Galleries have three different page types. To navigate between them, click on the drop-down menu in the top left-hand corner. Thumbnail pages will display all of the images in the gallery in a photo grid, while the photo page focuses on a single image. Gallery slideshow pages will show all of the images in a slideshow. On each page type, if you do any changes, clicking Save as Default will apply these settings to all of your galleries as long as they're set to use the default settings. This is Robert with Zenfolio Customer Support. Thank you for watching.